everyone, my name is William and I'm the engineer and developer in charge of the new Section Builder software. We recently released an update to the world and this is the first of a few videos to showcase some of its new features. This video will focus on the different ways to add shapes to create your sections. Starting with the le left navigation menu, we have four accordions for you to add shapes to create your sections. Going through templates, we have 10 predefined templates for you to use to get started. For example, I'm going to add the box girder, one of our newest templates. And as you can see, we have a form for you to readily edit the dimensions, but we've changed this up a little bit to make the process um, and experience a lot more enjoyable. So for example, if I click into this field, you'll notice that both the form box as well as the dimension line box both highlight blue. So this instantly gives you an idea of which dimension is the height. Similarly, if you, if you click into the next um, form field, you'll instantly know which dimension is the bottom width and so on. So if I was to make an edit, I can, for example, if I wanted to make this height 200 mil, I'll simply make the edit here, tab out, and the change has, is reflected in both the form as well as the dimension line. Going the other way, for example, if I was to edit the dimension line here from 202.5 um, bottom width, I wanted to turn that into say 220, I tab out. It's made the change di directly as well as reflected that change on the form. Moving on, you'll notice that we have a database. So this database allows us to scroll through sections from catalogs in America, Australia, Britain, and Europe. So clicking through, we have, for example, a lot of different options, but I'm going to pick, say, a rectangle hollow section. And I'm just going to pick anything at random. And a single click allows you to create a section onto the field. So you'll notice the, the name of the section is here. It's designated as a library shape and you can make the changes to the dimension form just as you could before. So if this doesn't satisfy your needs, you need it to be say 85 in height. You make the change just like before. It's reflected in the design area. In addition, we have a new feature allowing you to create your own custom shapes to create your section. For example, if you want to specify your own type of polygon, you can make the changes here. I'm not going to get in too in-depth into this because there'll be a video dedicated for this specifically. In a similar way, you can specify a line shape. You specify the path and a thickness to create your line shape. And if you prefer to sketch in CAD first, we offer the ability to import a DXF file which will create the exact same shape that you created in your own CAD software of choice. Moving on, we have a library section which allows you to save and load sections from previous edits. For example, I created this arm and leg beam in a previous um, session. And loading that up, you'll notice that I can now view these two shapes which form my section and I can make changes here, make a save and it will save into this list which will allow me to open and reuse in the future. So that concludes this very first video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please stay tuned for my next videos where I go in depth into more of the features. Bye for now.